Hi, I'm Sheriff Darren Balaam, here to read you guys another story. Hopefully you're enjoying your virtual learning. Today we're going to read Bread and Jam for Francis by Russell Hoban and pictures by Lil Lillian Hoban. And I'm here with our llama bunny and our fire. So we're giving the great just finished Easter. So hopefully you guys had a great Easter. It was breakfast time. Father was eating his egg. Mother was eating her egg. Gloria was sitting in a high chair and eating her egg too. Francis was eating bread and jam. What a lovely egg, said father. It is just the thing to start the day off right, said mother. Francis did not eat her egg. There they are, eating all their eggs. The breakfast table. Francis sang a little song too. She sang the song very softly. I do not like the way you slide. I do not like your soft inside. I do not like you lots of ways, and I could do for many days, without eggs. Francis spread jam on another slice of bread. So she's singing to her egg. Why do you keep eating bread and jam? asked father. When you have a lovely egg. I like bread and jam, said Francis, because it does not slide off your spoon in a funny way. Well, of course, said father, but there are other kinds of eggs. Yes, said Francis. But sunny side up eggs lie on the plate and look up at you, and sunny side down eggs just lie on their stomach and wait. I think it is time for you to go to school now, said mother. Frances picked up her books, her lunchbox, and her skipping rope. Then she kissed mother and father goodbye and went to the school bus. And off to school she goes. While she waited for the bus, she skipped and sang, Jam on biscuits, jam on toast. Jam is the thing that I like most. Jam is sticky, jam is sweet, jam is tasty, jam's a treat. Raspberry, strawberry, gooseberry, I'm very fond of jam. That evening for dinner, mother cooked breaded veal cutlets with string beans and baked potatoes. Ah, said father, what is there nicer on the plate and tastier to eat than breaded veal cutlet? It is a nice dish, said mother. Eat up the string bean, Gloria. Francis looked at her plate and sang, what do cutlets wear before they're breaded? Flannel nightgowns, cowboy boots, furry jackets, sailor suits. I think Francis likes to sing. What do you guys think? Then Francis spread her jam on the slice of bread and took a bite. She won't try anything new, said mother to father. Well, said Francis, there are many different things to eat and they taste many different ways. But when I have bread and jam, I always know what I'm getting, and I always am pleased. You try new things in your school lunches, said Mother. Today I gave you a chicken salad sandwich. I traded it to Albert, said Francis. For what, said Father. Bread and jam, said Francis. The next morning at breakfast, Father sat down and said, Now, I call that a pretty sight. Fresh orange juice and poached eggs on toast. Francis began to sing a little song. Poached eggs on toast. Why do you shiver? With such a funny little quiver. Then she looked down and saw that she did not have a poached egg. I have no poached egg, said Francis. I have nothing but orange juice. I know, said mother. Why is that, said Francis. Even Gloria has a poached egg and she is nothing but a baby. You do not like eggs, said mother. Have some bread and jam if you are hungry. So Francis ate bread and jam and went to school. When the lunch bell rang, Francis sat down next to her friend Albert. What do you have today, said Francis. I have a cream, cheese, cucumber, and tomato sandwich, said Albert, and a hard boiled egg and salt, a salt shaker, and a thermos of milk, and a bunch of grapes, and a tangerine, and a cup of custard. What do you have, he said. Frances opened her lunch, bread and jam. She said, you're lucky, said Albert. That's just what you like. I had bread and jam for dinner last night, said Frances, and for breakfast this morning. I am a very lucky girl, I guess. Albert took a napkin and tucked it under his chin. He arranged his lunch neatly. I like cream cheese with cucumber and tomatoes on rye, said Albert. With a spoon, he cracked the egg. He sprinkled salt on the yolk. He took a bite of sandwich a bite of egg, and a drink of milk. Then he went around again. Albert made the sandwich, the egg, and the milk come out even. Albert sighed. I like to have a good lunch, he said. And there's Albert enjoying his lunch. 
Frances ate her bread and jam, then she went out to the playground and skipped rope. She did not skip as fast as she had skipped in the morning, and she sang, Jam in the morning, jam at noon, bread and jam by the light of the moon. Jam is very nice. When Frances got home, Mother said, I have a snack already for you. I do like snacks, said Frances. And there she's skipping rope at school. Here it is, said Mother, a glass of milk and a nice bread and jam for you. Aren't you worried that maybe I will get sick and all my teeth will fall out from eating so much bread and jam? Asked Frances. I don't think that will happen for quite a while, said Mother. So eat it all up and enjoy it. Frances ate up most of her bread and jam, but she did not eat all of it. After her snack, she went outside to skip rope. I think she's getting tired of bread and jam. Frances skipped a little more slowly, and then she skipped at noon, and she sang, jam for snacks and jam for meals. I know how a jam jar feels, full of jam. That evening for dinner, mother cooked spaghetti and meatballs. I am glad to see there is enough for seconds, father said, because spaghetti and meatballs is one of my favorite dishes. Try a little spaghetti, Gloria, said mother. I love spaghetti and meatballs. Do you guys? Frances looked down at her plate. There was no spaghetti and meatballs on it. There was a slice of bread and a jar of jam. Frances began to cry. My goodness, said mother. Frances is crying. What is the matter? Asked father. Frances sang a little sad song. What am I is tired of jam. I want spaghetti and meatballs, said Frances. May I have some, please? And see, she got tired of bread and jam. I had no idea you liked spaghetti and meatballs, said mother. So mother gave Frances spaghetti and meatballs, and she ate it all up. The next day, when the bell rang for lunch, Albert said, What do you have today? Well, said Frances, setting up a tiny vase of violets on her desk, let me see. I have tomato soup, said Frances, and a lobster salad sandwich. I have celery, carrot sticks, and black olives, and plums, and cherries, and a vanilla pudding. That's a good lunch, said Albert. I think it's nice that there are all different kinds of lunches and breakfasts and dinners and snacks. So do I, said Frances, and she made everything come out even. And there they are enjoying their lunch. Hopefully you enjoyed my book and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining.